41. I just show something there very quickly. Why sometimes we grow weary and grow tired in prayer. Or when many of us cannot actually pray effectively. The Bible says, watch and pray that ye fall not into temptation. That the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Just watch and pray that ye fall not into what? Temptation. But the flesh is weak. So a willing spirit with a weak flesh is still a useless situation. Do you understand that? It simply means in the activity of prayer, your body is involved. They thought it was all about the spirit alone to be energized. But here is God telling us that the spirit indeed, the spirit is not just willing, but it is indeed willing. Now the problem is engaging the body inside. That's like some of you, you, you wake up at night, you want to pray, you are struggling to sleep, then you position your pillow and lie down and you expect to pray do we see the missing link now you didn't know that your body must be what involved if you need to walk around you walk around if you get tired you sit down a little later you stand up you shake your your body is involved listen listen spiritual realities are translated to the external via our body so that energy you have prayed for God give me strength in the inner man you must allow the body to make it find what expression you can say lord give me grace to pray and then you're about uh, she, ka, pe, ka, ta, a, do, do. you are not praying are we getting something that's why you feel tired on time that's why you begin to feel sleepy because you thought it's just all about the willingness of the spirit that's why sometimes i tell people you prepare to pray you prepare to pray if you know you are not fasting eat well prayer is labor and labor is work if you are fasting get water close by as you pray because you are dispensing moisture is coming out of you you are releasing saliva as you pray so you are you are getting more dehydrated do we understand that so as you pray you feel weak you take the water if that's the secret to night praying if you don't want to feel sleepy you know your your biology tells you that when your metabolic system is in hyperactivity you won't feel sleepy is that when you are feeling sleepy it simply means that your metabolism is slowing down or trying to shut down when i give it water the body system metabolic system sees that an input has come then it gets to work again you see i'll stay longer again i will not feel sleepy again the spirit can be willing you know they had this willing spirit but because the body was not involved what happened they slept you see it as absolute pride when you don't engage your body in prayers possibly maybe you've not been taught you know that's what light does the entrance of his word brings what light it shines light to our dark areas you know oh this is the missing link when you don't pray with you you find out that both you are your prayer they are separate they are in different direction get your body involved you, you read scriptures you hear the, did you see what the bible says about um um elijah first kings 18 when he gave the prophecy as the gas rain the bible say he went to the mountain top and he bowed his this is what it means it didn't mean he sat down you know the hebrew women the hebrew men don't give birth lying down do we understand that the hebrew men give birth like this as if they want to stool so what he took was a spiritual betting position seven hours trace all through scriptures yet you learn the kind of brain was once like that they, i remember the days I, I, I early days where we started pray. we didn't know this was a problem you don't need to shout for god to hear you i'm telling you there is a way you know shout he won't hear you you must understand there are levels of prayer there are prayer in times of maybe um maybe just you know building spirit together there are prayers in scriptures where the Bible don't use the word prayer. It calls it cry. You don't raise cry by Shabbat, De Kappa. That's all you call raising a cry. <laughs> so your body must get what? Involved. Irrespective. Let them charge your spirit with supernatural energy. If you don't put the body inside, the energy will be wasted. 
do we understand that you know if you if you create create an engine you must create it in compatibility with the whole other parts of the car right yes no matter how powerful that engine is if it's not compatible it will not find expression it will move that's how your body is that fire you are claiming that has been rested in your spirit you must create this issue ram the engine now it's like putting 330 kva on a 2.5 2.5 electric cable what will happen just you can't go anywhere the greater the capacity of electricity you want to pass the external cable which is your body now you must increase it too now i can't pray and sleep it's not possible because in the first i won't even sit down i'm making you understand that this body is what involved the spirit if anything happening to the spirit the body is what gives it what expression that's why even god cannot do anything on the earth without a body do we understand that let's not separate that too I make it look like it. you don't need to. No, you need to put the body. You see that the car is behaving like the engine. Holy. Holy. Are you Lord God? Almighty. What is the land? The behind the scenes of prayers. What happened behind the scenes of now we've been praying here? What is happening behind the scene? Are we blessed already? Um we try to lay emphasis for the past few days we've been around uh, for the camp meeting that prayer is a life. Prayer is who we are. The Bible says, for my house shall be called a house of prayer. So one way we should checkmate the quality of a Christian life or a Christian experience is, is our devotion towards the life of prayer. Because God is saying, that's how we should see my house as a life of prayer. And we find this same attitude with the apostles. In fact, the apostles arranged their daily schedules according to prayer. They change chronological order of time from 3 p.m. to they don't call it like that. When you ask them what's the time, he says some few minutes to the hour of prayer. Through the book of Acts, that's what you see. And at the hour of prayer, at the ninth hour of prayer, at the sixth hour of prayer. So they had that doctrine. And apart in all the spiritual activities we've been given by God to engage, the only one we are asked to do all the time is basically what prayer and what thanksgiving the only thing that has the word always is what prayers and thanksgiving get the word but you see that thing called prayer the bible says we should do it without what season we should give thanks always so those two things he said in anything anything that happens father thank you father thank you it's um an activity that we, we must capture understanding and reality and then it will help us to be able to progress in our spiritual journey the things of the Christian faith, the difference between the Christian faith and some other religion who seems, even though they don't have the, 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 the they don't follow the true God, but who seems to get, um, you know, certain sense of result in their, in their faith is because they've learned it as culture or rituals. So it's not something they ask a question about. It's something they grew with. Every kingdom has a culture, has a custom. Every kingdom. And what makes you spiritual is when you engage in the rituals of that kingdom. There are rituals, every religion. Even when you want to join the occult, there are rituals. Ritual simply means prescribed activities given by a spirit. There it is. Via which they can be what? Engaged or worshipped. That's why the word spiritual, you get two words from it. Spirit and what? Ritual. So when you engage in the rituals of our faith, that's how you become more what spiritual and one of the rituals of our faith is what prayer so it's not something they should tell that's why you see the question mark on the christian today somebody is up in god tomorrow is down it's a lifestyle it's what a lifestyle like i said we have not been cultured with that lifestyle from childhood because the kingdom says we should train up a child where he should what go 
which is what the people of the other religion do, um, do. is that not so they've cultured that that attitude in the children so they don't they grow up to know this is part of what it is but in the body of christ we are trying to talk to adults and you know it's difficult to talk to adults because I, like i always say it is easy to raise a child than to repair an adult because at that point in time they have certain things they will start dragging with their mind why must i do this most of the times we get so weary in prayer when we don't see answers forthcoming someone is praying about a foundational issue and he has prayed for one month and he didn't see an answer and he gets discouraged he just throws it and is looking for a fast way i want something shasha maybe it's because my pastor is not so anointed or maybe it's because my church is not anointed then he begins to jump from one place to another the behind the scenes of prayers daniel chapter 10 from verse 12 to 13 said he unto me fear not daniel for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before god thy words were heard and i am come forward thy words it simply means his prayers were being answered from day one but the prince of the kingdom of persia withstood me one and twenty days uh, but lo michael one of the chief princes came to help me and i remained there with the king of Persia. are we saying something the bible is saying daniel from the first day you set your heart to pray i have heard your prayer but the problem is that certain happenings were taking place in the spiritual realm so if daniel had gotten so discouraged they won what will have happened he will have assumed that god doesn't answer prayers so when we pray there are warfare behind the scenes and what is expected of us is to continue prayer till that warfare is settled in the spiritual realm before we can begin to see translations of it in the physical realm your job is to pray the duration of answer is not in your hand warfares are taking place if you get discouraged that will have been the end of it all because prayer the bible says energizes angels so as he kept praying that was what was sustaining the war taking place with the priest of what passion that prayer had the ability to provoke another angel to come as an assistance to ensure that daniel got what he, he was looking for do we understand what i'm saying so there are battles behind the scene that's why you can't get discouraged sometimes most of us are just close to the breakthrough when we give up because you determine the duration to which the answers must what must come you want to determine the duration is not given to you is not in your hand given to you and we see the patracks of all do is to keep praying till you see the result second kings chapter 5 from verse 10 to 14 the behind the scenes of prayer I want to give you the second reason i said the reason what happened behind the scene spiritual warfare and that war must first be won in the spiritual realm before it can find expression where in the physical realm the bible says this was the um, um general naaman who was leprous to the prophet elisha the bible didn't even come out of his house he just sent a messenger unto him saying go and wash in service, and thy flesh shall come again to thee and thou shalt be what clean this statement this prophetic instruction and decision affected the dignity of Naaman. he brought his personality into his problem you are complaining That's like some of you i said you are angry your helper did not pick your call is something wrong with you so i call him two times i'm not calling me again you is that no altar you're angry with you <laughs> and uh, that's this is a man looking for solution the person didn't ask him for money he said go bed in jordan dip yourself how many times seven times if elijah had said one times possibly the man would have been okay and said okay no problem it's just once i just do it and i go away 
why seven times now the leper on Naaman was passing through seven generations for it dipping Naaman dipped he cured the leprosy from what each generation it had stopped at the third dipping Naaman will still not be healed so that foundational problem you are praying about that altar whatever you are praying about certain things have been the, that's an altar that is older than your grandfather 400 of years certain things have been shifting but you expect that you know we have what we call christian pride i just speak a word just it's not everything you speak a word when it came to the betting of destiny jesus did not speak a word he went to money and stayed there till his sweat became as what as drops of blood it's pride it's not a sign that you have light you have this remember you know that's why you don't need to you know to, to pray long you just say one statement really really had to dip himself what seven times so peradventure you are praying but you know what happens most of the times because of our lack of understanding of these realities happening behind the scene we will stop then the enemy has a way of building it back again then all the time we are starting from square one that all the prayer you prayed maybe you engage on a 10 days prayer and praying against the family foundation at 10 days you didn't see a change you got angry and stopped the next time you want to start don't assume you pray 10 days before it has gone back towards zero you have to start addressing that issue again that's why the word remains you pray on tear on tear because you are not the one that wants to solve the problem. Are you the one to solve the problem? Your job is to engage the God who wants to deal with that issue. So you can't be the one determining time. And say, I pray, I pray five days. I pray five days. I, I didn't see results. And that's all. John 16, 23. A certain warfare. I said, number one, what happens behind the scene is that certain warfare are taking place. Angels are moving. You might not see it in the physical yet. But angels are moving what already. You don't stop. You need to keep praying to keep energizing them to work. Number two, what you are dealing with is dealing with certain things according to what generations. It's not a one-stop something. Do we understand that? Your job is to keep praying. He said, and in that day you shall ask me nothing verily verily i say unto you whatsoever you shall ask the father in my name he will give it to you next verse either though have you asked nothing but in my name ask, and ye shall receive that your joy may be what full our joy prayer will never be derived from just the discipline of prayer but from the answers the only thing i can experience joy is not just because i prayed but when the answer comes i must keep praying till i see the answer not just i prayed, i prayed and that's all no he said that your joy may be what full else you will get discouraged and the devil will take an advantage of you jesus said there is something for me to accomplish and i am what straightened look at the word straight in there are you seeing the spelling it doesn't mean straight the way some of you used to say um, broad is the way that leads to hell and straight is the way that leads to heaven it's not a straight line that's not what the bible said if you read that you see the same spelling here s-t-a-r-i-t -E. the word straight here means what difficult it means it will cost you to get to heaven there are sacrifices you can, you, you have to make that's the same thing here he said i am straightened i'm in pain difficult situation not a straight line are we getting blessed because until it is what you see the word is what till we behold until we are found we cover until we are found we cover until we are found the word is what until do you know let me give you the last one look the bible says Jesus said to them Jerusalem. He didn't give them he told them on tea. 
you be and you will power from what on eye. Only time they are permitted to leave that upper room is when they see the power from on eye. And when they saw it, they left. You don't come and be doing so. I've seen people come to me. So I'm tired. I, I've been praying. Just they, oh, I, I fast six to twelve. Then prayed. But the tea is still there. If it goes away, I'll be surprised. Have you not seen where we try to cast devils? They try to drag. A devil knows you can cast it. Yet it will say, no, no. Have you not seen that? You are saying, get out. He said, it will drag. It doesn't go easily. Have you not even seen? Do you know why it is difficult for spirits to live? Because even spirits themselves understand culture. Only Christians change church like rapper. I prove to you, spirits understand culture that it is difficult to culture a system. So somebody can come and say, yes, I feel an answer. It, he, he cultured it to host a kind of presence. It's a culture where a man was possessed with devils and Jesus wanted to cast the devils out. They were begging him, please send us to the pigs because they know if he cast them out, they will need to understudy a new territory and it will take them time. They were begging not to leave that environment. Even the Bible tells us that when demon leaves a person, they go to places seeking for rest. The next resort is to come back to where they left because they understand his appetite. They understand his lust. They understand his anger issue. Before they will study another one, it will take time. That's why they don't like to leave a system that has been established. So you must understand what takes place behind the scene. You don't just tell a devil, go and he says, thank you, all right. Even Jesus told devils to go. They were still making engagements. Please, can you just let's begin. The job is what? Until you don't stop. You keep praying and pressing. Else, I'm making you understand how you are wasting spiritual energy. I've given you two things, right? How you waste spiritual energy. When you stop and ah, I've given up. Anytime you resume, you are starting from afresh again. Those of you, you are hardened against the Holy Ghost. That's why the Bible says, when you hear the voice of the Lord, do not harden your heart. Hardness of heart is witchcraft. Though. It's not a sign that you're a man. You're a mumu. Just you <laughs> they say go left like this. Your altar is at work. Foundational problem. That's the life of prayer. That's why the Bible had to say, do it what? Always. So listen. It's your phone every day. Some of you say it's a ritual, it's a commitment. When you wake up, you don't even find out whether your leg can still move. Some of you don't. Some of you, you don't even find out whether you are now blind. You are attacked at night. You are like this. You didn't check whether you are alive. Is that not? That's our first altar now. Some of us now. Is, is that not so? You can be that diligent. But when it comes to prayer, you are giving excuses. There is nothing stressful in what is gainful. You don't consider the stress. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 12 and verse 2 about Jesus. The Bible says, who for the joy that was set ahead of him, he endured the cross. There are things to endure before you get to the things to enjoy. That's the protocol of life. They were pitying him, crying. You know when we watch the pastor of Jesus, we will cry. He was happy holding it because he saw a joy ahead. Look at the price in front look at what can happen if your family is liberated look at the kind of prophecy hanging on your head i told a young man that came to want i said see i've told you three years ago pray you didn't pray your life did not change this is one year two years imagine you only dedicated six months consistency do you know where you'll be by now all the while away you have wide away your time nothing has improved nothing has changed challenge yourself the behind the scenes of prayer Ecclesiastes 11 verse 3 the Bible says that if the cloud be full of rain it will empty itself how long should I pray I can tell you just make your cloud full when the cloud of a man becomes full that's when you see the ability of God to turn decades into moments Decades into moments when the cloud of a man becomes full. 
you will look at the accomplishment at that time it won't rhyme with the chronological time when the cloud is full of rain let your cloud be full listen if you want to move a human being now maybe you just need somebody bigger than him to push him but you when you want to build, bring down a building you need something with much sufficient force like per adventure a bulldozer no matter how zealous you are if you keep using the force of your hand will that building go down that's what consistency in prayer does there are certain kind of problem challenge powers altars that you need sufficient force sufficient energy to move it not one day two day three days if your cloud be full of rain i've told you when it comes to the activity of prayer there is no delay in god back to two verse three for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end of it it shall speak and it shall not what lie though it tarry wait for it let's look at this word together let's hold the first word is what though it what tarry the middle word is what wait it will not is that not a confusion you have told me that it will tarry why are you whining me that it will not tarry what is telling you there is that in between after the waiting from one phase to another it will truly feel like it never tarried i told you the story of one of my father who god promised i'll give you duplexes in abuja and that prophecy came fulfilled after 26 years i'll ask a question if god gives him one duplexes how many would they be per year how many 26 if he gives him two per year how many in one day after 26 years he got 100 duplexes one day that is that verse surely to none and tarry <laughs> you will now look at it and say no there was no delay in god be consistent make it a life make it a, be straightened be uncomfortable when hunger and anger meets prayer result is inevitable you are hungry for a miracle and angry at what the devil is doing and say this nonsense must stop i can't end my life like this I can't end my life. I have talked about this family problem for five years. It has not changed. I have to take responsibility. Justice 12 and verse 3. This was Jephthah born as a prostitute, thrown away from his father's house. He said, and when I saw that he delivered me not, I put my life in my hands. I took my destiny and sat down and said, God, you will change this story. The same people that threw him away started looking for him. The behind the scenes of prayer. And when you have this understanding, you don't interpret things by the physical happenings. You don't. That's why, you see, when you read that scripture, people thought that Daniel had an intention to fast for 21 days. It's a lie. Read your Bible. He only set his heart to pray about a matter, waiting till the day is his answer. If the angel had not come on 21 days, we would have said Daniel fasted for 20 something extra days. We are the one that coined it to 21. He kept listen, praying. Listen, let me teach you what we call power leakage, spiritual power leakage. When I am praying now about my family issue, come. He's my brother. Praying. Oh God, change this situation. We believe you. Move on our behalf. Let this shame be lifted. Let this shame be. In Jesus' name, we thank him. Then we go back. In the morning, we wake up. We are not this way. I don't know how. The every for this house, everybody they believe like he wasted that prayer I prayed though. Because the condition there is that if you believed your prayer, then you shouldn't be saying otherwise. You are anticipating God wants to do something about it. What are you now saying? It's to tell you that you're just doing gymnastics. So you have cancelled that prayer you prayed about that family issue. When I'm praying about it, something, I don't talk negatively about it in the fiscal. Even when people are complaining, my prayer coming, oh, this same. I say, let's trust God. You know why I can say that? Because I am praying about it. So let's trust God. Else, you are just doing work done over time taking equals to zero. Prayer is teachable. It's a school. We'll pray one prayer. First Kings chapter 13. I'll put you in front, in front of my melody. You the mother. There is not. There is nothing stressful. In what is gainful. Even if the body is holy, 
because you know what you will get at the end of it endure endure first kings 13 he said and behold there came a man of god out of judah by the word of the lord unto Bethel. that's the prayer we'll pray and behold there came a man of god out of judah by the word of the lord unto Bethel. and jeroboam stood by the altar to burn what incest and he cried against the altar i've told you there are levels of prayer please understand that in school in fact all through the book of Psalms, you see more of christ than prayers do you understand that christ the difference between cry and prayer is intense energy and desperation do we understand that intense energy and desperation and it is difficult for God to turn his eye away from a desperate man. Because of the mockery Rachel experienced in the hands of Leah, she made a cry. Oh God, give me a child or I die. God answered the prayer and she died. Look at Samson in the midst of pain because of desperation. Oh God, let my hair grow again. Let me avenge once. I've just given me the privilege to make revenge my eyes and the air God I'm telling you from experience in my journey with God God is fighting to turn his back at desperate men he finds it difficult difficult desperation everyone that I know broke foundational powers and yoke you are not this you two know you're serious if that's how they established the altar will it be this effective the covenant they just went as uh, just just pour, pour two onion two onion put two tomatoes on top and put some maggi i said the girls this is your own this is your own uh, this thing should happen like this so do you know what the, some of them walk through thick forests in middles of night consistently they engage a some of them for 30 years 20 years to establish a pattern in a family that's see the pain I have about these family issues, right, is that you know they don't even end the ritual. There is always someone. Have you not seen if somebody do, does not collect the idol, it will start killing people. Consistency. You pray 30 minutes, you are making noise. Do you know how long I've been praying and there are certain things I've not seen change about? Job just offered offering 12 people. All his children. Twelve, inside church. He dance, 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 dance. Drop the first one. Say for Bomboy. He went again. Dance, dance. For Nyarinya. That's it. Only for him to come out of that activity. They say you have lost everything. And he's still saying, We bless God. That's how you know a man of prayer. The, is, the inside is energized. The, you, you don't need something to steer you up. You do, it, it's a life. So even you know that what you are doing is a sense of unseriousness. Because you know it was not established by unseriousness. It was not established by unseriousness. Some of them, if they don't, do you know the pain this man used to establish some of all these demonic things and fab about? Some of them do the right sacrifice. That thing they are doing it can kill them. That's what you just do carelessly. I remember somebody ran to me one time and threw 500 naira. That's water of my family died. People should change you. 500 to destroy water gravity of what you are looking for from a spirit determines the gravity of the sacrifices you make even to our body they'll, they'll say this matter mm -mm. you have to bring elephant teeth the gravity of it the christianity is a culture we have things the way you see the muslim have a culture i shouldn't be teaching you prayer if they trained you from childhood they nobody they don't go to mosque now they think you will never hear them running topics on prayer and say why you must come to mosque on friday um, the foundation is the problem we are the a wrong footing we were licensed to do anything we like so telling us to do it now we are fighting with it it's a culture way of life even in your village till date they have things they do this year is this festival this month is this program this one is young is that not so how comes only christianity you don't have what you can look at for and say this is a culture this is what Christians do. We are dragging over it. Come in, come in. You people say we are giving to God. I want to know. The time that God used to come down and collect his money. But when you came, you saw fuel inside generator. You charge your phone. 
And no, I thought it was the anointing as they were singing. Power, spiritual power was entering to the electric wires. Anoint question that you just say, God, I said I should beat you. This is altar. This is altar. You know when we talk about altar, I just had a leading that many of you will not understand what we are saying. Because you know, they did altar. Altar was in my village, and so. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord and said, Altar, altar, thus saith the Lord, behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David. Josiah, by name, he was crying to altar, not to a person. No. He kept stone. A man was talking to the stone and conversing with it. You are now what? I'm experiencing failure at the edge of success. When they say, let them sign that thing for you, the altar, yes. It's time to get married. Oh Lord, it's my season. The altar, yes. The we just read. He cried against it. That's that one prayer I want us to pray this morning. Every altar speaking and fighting against my life. Catch fire. I didn't say they say you should pray. What we read was that what he cried. Cry is like in prayer, it's like you know, when somebody has collected something from you and has suffered you for a long while you now find out that that thing you need is not persistent you are coming and you are shouting give it with me so the anger alone is bringing what tears you must not bring out physical tears is that you are mixing the combo of anger and hunger in prayers ah produce dangerous results every altar fighting against my life my family Speaking against my advancement, God's fire. Raise your voice and pray. To see tremendous results from prayer, from my little study of scripture. And experiences of life and studies of our fathers is that it requires the investment of time it requires the investment of time who says that Jesus didn't commit himself to men because he knew their heart so when we say the presence of God is now with a man it means he has committed himself to a man and before he will do such it must is of trust and trust is only built through time did you not see the bible in um, um genesis 24 how that the bible says after abraham has sacrificed and um, made an intention to sacrifice isaac what did the bible say he say after 25 years he say abraham now i know that you fear me it simply means for 25 years of work with still a suspect it takes time stop all this you just know this hurry hurry life you you have all the hurry you have what has it produced how many of you have you want to fast or you want to pray stretch six hours then you did not do it how do you feel at the end of the day you now look at that 6 p.m say by now if i don't say i don't finish you how many of you it happens to you'll be feeling just by now if i don't say that's all i'm done and the food you ate did not improve anything it's all that at work because it will not want you to do what is gameful anything you find difficult to do in god are the things that will advance your life some it might not even be prayer they can they, are, they can pray their life but to remove five naira some they can pray they can give but you see to fast man no chop food Aya. it simply means that you see that thing called fasting is what will bring that breakthrough you are looking for in life i'm telling you how you discern spiritual technologies the thing that is most difficult for you that's it that's need to end. You don't decide it for yourself. You study it. The study of spirits. That thing is what you will need to do more to shift that level you are looking for. I know one a young man. Anytime he decides to fast, he must treat malaria. He will be fine. So have you, have you experienced that? You will be fine all through. If you just say, I'm starting fasting tomorrow, he must have malaria. Anytime you want to, that's the time you will break down health. It shows that there is something about your destiny and what prayers that's the thing you need to do more 
get angry in your spirit. God does not business with unserious people. Let me teach you one more secret, okay? Have you found that, that once you start prayers, you are praying, some of you even feel like it will just get to a point. Bah! The cloud is on you. True? Because the Holy Ghost is also waiting to watch. Did this one come here to be serious? Or this one came here to what? To play. I have an attitude. You know me. Once I enter into this place, I'm not seeing you. I can dance and raise my one leg like this and talk. If you like, let the posture doesn't look nice to you. It's not your business. I didn't, I'm not doing it for you because you, you won't answer my prayers. So why should I be putting you in consideration? Do you understand that? I want to pray. I can pray and if it's not your business. The God I'm talking to. So you, you are not checking. There's one baby in church. So you are composing yourself. Even when the spirit is moving you, I kaba. I kaba. I kaba. You are trying to maintain posture. If you carry dignity, you won't carry divinity. They used to drop it to carry God. You will, you, that is what David knew that he was dancing like a mad person. You will drop it to carry him. If you are already full, he can't feel you. You will empty your. When you come to his presence, I'm telling you how you carry glory from service. It doesn't mean people need to fall. Every service is an impartation. But how you collect it is that you came hungry. You drop everything. Saying, it's me. I'm seeing only God here now. It's me and you, God. The Bible says for Esau. Esau that missed the blessing. Esau that missed the blessing. Look at what the father is still telling him. I'm making you understand the combo of hunger and anger. He said that you will serve your brother. Is that not what he said? He said, however, when you are tired, you will break the yoke. So it is inched on the decision of Esau to get tired. I'll bless the younger one. I can't bless you. You have to serve him. How? Ever desperation alter things. Even Jesus said it was my hour. The woman say anything we say didn't do. That wine must come out. The hour shifted. Desperation. Desperation. I told you I, I fasted to a point. I disfigured my internal system. I broke down. I was bleeding. Went to the hospital. I had to be operated upon. That's where I better the song God of Miracles. And I told myself, what is the value of life if it is useless? It's not in the length of it, but the impact. I rather pay the price and die. If I, they finished operating me, three days was um, Easter conference with the topic there was Maranatha. I came out from the country, told the doctor, excuse me, I need to perform my priest first. I came there preaching. I didn't know I had surgery. That is how the thing came out. Before I know my shirt was still so I cover it. When I finish, I ran back to the office to go and lie down. The spirit. Be angry within yourself. Don't ever get comfortable with pain. Don't ever get comfortable with unpleasant situation. Do we understand that? Don't ever get comfortable with it. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Lift up your hands. Lord, I pray for your people. I am asking that the heavens are your life opened from today a man will struggle unnecessarily work so hard and see nothing if over him is closed i pray for you may the heavens over your life open the bible says in genesis 32 and that jacob saw himself laying on a stone and suddenly the heaven was all opened and then there was a ladder set on the earth, not on the heaven. An angel was ascending and descending. So beyond the fact that you are under an open heaven, you need a ladder. It's called the Sulam anointing. You need men that will connect your whole heaven to the earth. I pray. Everyone that is in your life now, that is not supposed to be a part of it, the force of grace, I push them away. And everyone that is supposed to be a part of your life now, to advance the course of your destiny, may God in heaven connect you to them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God has not given life. 
that a man will get everything he will amass in this life through his labor alone there is a force called favor the grace called favor the grace the oracle called acceptance i declare and i declare from this day may it be rested upon your life i prophesy may it be rested upon your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God just said this to me to you. One of the way you know the operation of foundational powers and altars is uncontrolled appetite. So if you when money enters your hand will be scratching you. It's not be moving like this. Spend. Buy. Spend. That's the only voice of the Holy Ghost you are hearing there. Spend. Buy. Spend. But till it finishes, so if there is not what you can, what is not there, you can no longer endure it. You are now at that point. You don't take pure water again. It's distilled water. It's water. I'm telling you how it works. And you will give all the excuses that I used to normally have typhoid. If I if I check normal way, but when the money finishes, you go back to the same. It operates through people by uncontrolled appetites and behaviors. You just can't control yourself. You do things at the extreme. The Lord bless and keep you. Amen. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. In the name of Jesus.